Jay Drone here. What's going on, guys? Finally got this Potet Sick folder out. We're going to go ahead and give it a ply. I have not read the instructions. I did start this in the house uh, to figure out how to bind a controller because I definitely had to do that just as well as to uh, see if it had a Wi Fi password. It doesn't. So we're going to, to bind it, hold your lock button, your red lock button, turn on. It'll start beep beep. You'll see everything flashing. As soon as you turn that on, you hear a notification from this that it's sunk up, and then you no longer have your flashing. The next thing, and I don't know if you can see it, I'm already in my app. I have my app on. I connected to it via my Wi-Fi at home. That way I can have uh, that way I can have my maps. But we're gonna go out of that. We are going to go into settings and connect to drone 5B A 69D, which uh my smartphone already did so once it's connect to that we then see which I'll go ahead and do a screen recording in three two one down so we then see in bottom left of our map that we now have our FPV and then we can switch out to it um, like that but whatever you want to do here you, you got it um you, you can look at the map or you can look at your video uh, so that's down I am moving my camera up I would like it with the horizon okay uh, and then I guess what we will do is uh, try to do a down and out to take off try to do a down and out to take off and we do also let's see we do also have a SD card in there down and out will not fire these motors let's click our lock button all right, it wants calibration, I'm sorry. So let's go ahead and calibrate it. I didn't get any type of prompt on, uh, I guess I do, upper left it shows a uh, calibration prompt. I assume I'm doing this right, hopefully. Maybe tilt it like that. Maybe I already did that one. I don't know. We might actually have to go into the menu to do this. No, we're good. We're good, yeah. So you go roundabout and then you turn it head down and it should be good. My uh, calibration, or the upper left on the app is just showing, I guess maybe you press it for calibration. I'm no longer showing it on here. GPS, I'm showing 11 satellites. Down and out is not firing a motor, so we're going to press upper left bumper. That's not doing anything. How about ends? Down and out. Maybe press the circle button here. I don't know what that does. Yeah, I, don't know. I don't see it. Auto takeoff. High, low, home, on, GPS. GPS is on. How do we take off with this? Ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. I'm pressing this button. I would assume. There we go. Okay, so I pressed the lock button, which I guess is your unlock as well. That'll go ahead and put it up. That took a little while. So from the camera, as it's sitting here, it's looking okay. I noticed the camera itself, it's not fixed. It's like, it moves a little bit. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start a recording. Start record. We are recording. Upper left, it shows it's going to tip card. So we're going to put it up. And we're going to fly forward. So yeah, there seems to be a little bit of jello. Um, not showing distance on the app. I am showing it on here. And right there... My app froze up, but I'm still going forward. So here, this is exactly why I have that map there, which it's not showing the drone on my map. Really? You're not showing the drone on my map. Why wouldn't it give me that option to see? I could see the drone. To see the drone flying away from myself on the map. It's a little bit ridiculous. Um, but we'll go back here. And again, we still don't have our drone connected. We're 246 meters away. Um, I can see the drone. We're going to fly a little bit further away, if it'll let me. 
260, 300, we'll go out a quarter mile if we can. Again, I don't have my FPV transmission here. Signal's still good, I'm, I'm a quarter mile away. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, uh, let's go ahead and bring it back. And I'm simply just pulling back on my right stick here. And my distance away from me is fixing itself. Not fixing it, lowering it, excuse me. It sucks that uh, that map doesn't show you the line traveled of your drone. I can see the drone. Um, because then you'd be able to safely go out past line of sight, past FPV, and just, just go out via the map. I mean, maybe we'll try a, there's a quad over there. Maybe we'll try a little mission here because there is waypoints. There is waypoints. So we're going to bring this back. Hopefully it reconnects to my telephone. Okay, so we're going to bring it down. If it doesn't reconnect to the telephone, I'll try to get it to do it. Because again, I uh, I don't know that I can start and stop video. Starting and stopping the video can only be done once the aircraft is connected. As you can see, upper middle, it says device is not connected. I tried to stop it. And again, upper middle, aircraft not connected. So what you need to do, you actually need to go into your network settings. You need to connect to it. As you can see, it's connecting right now. And then once it says aircraft connected and you get live feed, then you can stop it. For some reason, the video had stopped prior. I don't know why. Um, it did say record success. You did see the video prior to that. And uh, right here, you can see what I kind of typed up a couple times, that you can see the drone itself on your map, providing you have your maps loaded. And the reason we, uh, the reason we see the map is because we started this prior to... Um, started this whole app prior to coming out here. I kind of preloaded the map that way we would see it. Uh, bottom left hand corner is actually recording from the SD card. You can see the drone moving and uh, do apologize my hat cam uh, again I run it for like almost like an hour and change and uh, usually run it until it dies. My hat cam's dead right now so you, you'll see a little bit of hat cam footage towards the end but this is going to be a really detailed view of, uh, of the drone and the app interface. You can see we're just at a quarter mile here um, right next to the aircraft not connected. It is returning to home um, and this this app's a little bit weird it's not consistent unfortunately because you can see the drone still sitting there despite the fact that uh, that the, the app's not connected the drone is still connected to the remote controller and it should still work hypothetically through the app where the drones movements are moving on the map um, sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't this is the most inconsistent part of this drone and the features of this drone that I have found out uh, the follow me does work really well you will see the follow me towards the end of the video it works extremely well and there you can see the drone just jump and now we are connected again and again the, the video that you're seeing bottom left corner is from the SD card so th this drones pretty neat it, it's pretty neat it has some features it has uh, has some stuff that held my interest because uh, this drone really did hold my interest I don't think we tested all the features uh, we've only tested uh, basically um, what you see right here and now we're trying to uh, trying to do a uh, mission send it on a mission it says loaded and then the green that you can't see is uh, connect it said fail okay so you see me do this a couple times it took a couple times I don't know if uh, that parameter was too long if it needed pinpoints in between I'm probably going to read the the instructions as you can see my location right there um, and J drone doesn't read instructions but I would really like the waypoints to work properly every single time because I don't think that's a tough waypoint I think right there it should be able to send it and I, I do prove that you can do a waypoint even when it disconnects it continues going on its route out. and if I had my hat cam you'd also be able to get really visual confirmation of that but we will get this to work so please stay with me here um, 
all in all, I think the biggest the biggest downfall and uh, bottom left now you're seeing uh, is uh, the app interface. We're no longer recording to SD card, despite the fact uh, upper right it shows recording to SD card. I don't know what the inconsistencies with that is as well, um, where it kind of just stops abruptly. Uh, the, the, the camera. The camera is this drone's weakest point. The resolution and the quality of the camera is great. Um, again, stick with me. We will get this to do a waypoint mission. Um, and the camera itself is like, it's like hung underneath. It's not fixed like generally we've seen with a uh, heavy servo tiltable camera by a controller. It has a lot of jiggle left to right underneath and I think if we just run a piece of tape under there or we fix that which would keep us from tilting it up or down during flight but if we fix that tight I think a lot of the jitters that we see in the video will be gone. Here I believe this time it works well. Now you can see, and maybe it has to, maybe it has to have more than more than three or four pinpoints. But uh, you'll be able to see the little drone. You can see the drone moving. Bottom left, you can see the FPV footage from the drone via app. Again, that is app FPV footage. We're not recording to SD card. Now, when it's doing this, I think it should be laying like a yellow line. Like we have a green line for our waypoint mission here. I think it should be laying a yellow line anytime this drone goes away from you. So you have, you have a line out. You can see line out. Now it says aircraft disconnected. The aircraft is disconnected. Um, and I believe that was heading to two. It's still going to two. This is what I'm talking about, about inconsistencies. So aircraft was still disconnected. It's still showing disconnected. And it's going, it's still moving. Now it's not moving. And now it is, we're, now we're going to three. It shows aircraft connected. So this has a lot of potential. This has a lot, a lot of potential. Again, guys, you know I'm not one to sugarcoat you, you, you anything. I'm not. Hey, these reviews don't don't confuse my reviews as me trying to say, hey, go buy this. That's that's not what I do here. I test products. I'm quality control. That's what I do. Um, if you watched a video and you think it's something up your alley and you want to get it, by all means, get it. I generally have a link down below for an easy easy click. One for either easy click buy if you're interested or two easy click to look at the specifications because a lot of time the links that I have down below show detailed specifications of the drones the RC equipment the technology um, that I'm testing and reviewing uh, so please don't confuse oh J drone J drone got a new drone on his channel I gotta go buy it don't do that <laughs> don't do that you would have well you've seen my drone room you would have in excess of drones that you do not need to have in your house uh, you need to do you do you what does that mean what does do you mean well exactly that what do you want in a drone well what is your specifications for a drone are you looking for a camera drone are you looking for a burner are you looking for an acro monster are you looking just to learn how to fly are you looking to fly in your house in your backyard fly FPV etc 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 the list goes on and on and on that's up to you um, you need to really gauge at what you want to do with the hobby and again you can see everything's froze up here it will come back I promise you so I'm just gonna keep jabber drawing with you and most reviewers don't show this most reviewers don't show the app freezing they edit it they heavy edit it um, I've watched a couple on the MJX and the, I believe it's the eSheen that they have on here and most people aren't showing this app freeze most people aren't showing the the inconsistencies of it I am Am I saying this is a bad drone? No, I'm not saying it's a bad drone. I'm saying the app interface really needs help or the antenna coming out of the drone really needs help. If we had constant connectivity with this, we would have an excellent drone. Again, just pay attention to the home point that's blipping. Bam, right there. Right? The drone's back. <laughs> Magically, the drones back were connected. It did connect. A auto connected. I didn't have to go into my uh, into my settings and reconnect that. And so it did the entire mission, even though it was disconnected. You didn't see it move to all those points, but it did go through all those points, um, even when it was disconnected. And that's basically what you want in a waypoint. And my what I would like to see. I'd like to see this. What I'm trying to do here. I would like to send it out that far. That far is over a half a mile and just let it go 
We know it's going to disconnect, but it should hit the pinpoints because it's GPS. Um, GPS has nothing to do with your 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi signal. GPS is GPS. If you take a cell phone or Amazon Fire that's not connected to any type of internet, go in the middle of nowhere, take a picture, there's GPS coordinates embedded in that picture even though you didn't have cell service, um, e e even though you didn't have Wi-Fi. It's kind of crazy how GPS works, but it's there. Those satellites are always above you. Um, and again, we're trying here, and we're getting inconsistent results on how to do this. And maybe it's user error. I I I'm one to say, hey, it's it could be user error. It most definitely could be user error, where on my point, I'm not doing something right, or I'm initiating too long or too many points, or I'm initiating something that shouldn't be done right. So here we're going to do a simple uh, three-step. We're going to try a three-step, and here we go. It's going to do the three-step. Now that's three-step right there. Again, you can see the drone moving. The three-step right there is, uh, that's... I'm going to say at point two, it's over 100 meters. Uh, if, if it stays connected, you'll be able to see. Um, we are now closing in on point one, which is right around 100 meters. And you can see, yep, so it's, it's just over 100 meters. That's right, because that line, the road before that is where the birch tree is, and that's about 100 meters, and we're well past that. Um, and again, aircraft connected, you could see the FPV down bottom left. And then upper middle to the right, you could see it calculating the meters, the distance it is away from the controller. Again, this drone didn't bore me to death. It was a challenge to get stuff to work, but it was fun. It was entertaining. Uh, it was entertaining for me, and you guys know how many drones I have, and you guys know how uh, scatterbrained I am. Oh, look, squirrel, what, what? Um... I, for, for something to hold my interest as much as this did, as opposed to me getting frustrated and just moving on with it, is, uh, is something to say. I like the fact that it's a foldable drone. Mine came in the baller case. Um, what's the baller case? If you didn't see the unboxing video, mine came in a overpriced baller, crate, baller case. Yes, I said it. Overpriced baller case. Can you get the drone by itself without the baller case? Yes. If you got extra cash to blow and you got to have uh, top of the line, you got to have what everybody else don't, and you want the baller case, you're going to spend money. Link for that will be down below. That's the that's the one that I have here. Uh, again, you could go with MJX. You could go with Ishin. Um, bam, so here we go. That's from the app. Um, so this is from the app interface here. And then we will do a recording to show you SD card recording. And again, I'm blowing up the SD card recording um, for a reason. The reason I'm doing that, which is right here, is so you can see all the jitters. You can see the quality too, but you can see all the jitters. And then uh, even though it shows upper right a little bit after the recording stopped me, stop it. Again, I don't know what's up with that. I was using a really good, uh, and here I kind of like photo photo checked this whole way and I didn't load the photos uh, just to keep this a fairly simple even though this is a simple video to edit all the all the picture and picture guys and all the text and um, all the layers and the sound and this this is not an easy process to do especially what we're doing now which is recording over everything that you see um, because my hat cam died generally it's simple generally I do three layers the audio is already there because I recorded it from my hat cam I don't have to do this in-house but we are doing this in-house um, again stick with me we're going to do follow me we're gonna check out follow me and I'm gonna show you how well it works and it does it works really well it works better than I'm going to say 90 percent of any drone that I have tried follow me on and again, I don't like return home. I don't like to rely on it. As you can see, this is the prompt to do follow me. I don't like using computer assisted technologies with the drones. I like to fly it myself. Um, and again, you can see the jitters. I think, dude, I think if the camera underneath it, it, what, it feels like it's hung somehow. You can take the camera and shake it left to right. Um, you can take the drone and shake it left to right and see that camera move. Um, very odd setup on that. I think they tried to tried to manipulate a gimbal and here you can see me just jogging a little just jogging a little has no problem keeping up with me now that was a little jog and I got sandals on and there's rocky roads and whatnot I will pick up the speed here and again you can see it freezing a little bit 
freezing a little bit. I had the controller in between. Uh, I had the controller in front of me, which made my body in between the drone and the controller. And you could see that little skippy skippy. Um, even on the Wi-Fi now, they were pretty close. The Wi-Fi image was pretty good. Right now, we're showing SD card. Um, this is all SD card. And again, the the right there, blah, 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 you get jello. If it didn't have that jello and it didn't have the jitters, like like if you drank too much coffee, that's what this camera seems to be doing. Um, this would be hands down a drone to get. Absolutely. Um, right now, the camera's an issue for me. The camera's an absolute issue for me. Uh, images, if you're going to take pictures with this and you're going to do what I showed you flying towards that, where you're going to hit photo, 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 you're probably going to get one or two that's going to turn out good. Um, you can definitely do that to get pictures. We are, I believe we're going to run now. I've dropped the height of this just a little bit so it can see me. And you can see it kind of move back. I'm adjusting, I'm adjusting the angle and the height right now. And once I start to take off here, bam, so there goes J-Drone running in sandals. Look at him, bust my butt. Uh, this dude, I, I was in frame the entire time. I was in frame the entire time. Um, it almost lost me. It almost lost me as I turned on my burners as I'm going to do right right here. And it loses me for a second here. You can see it backing up. It's pivoting to the left. And about right there, I'm going to say it lost me for a second. And then it's like, whoop, wait a minute, I got you. And then it kind of like flies over. So the follow me is really, really impressive. Um, the range on this isn't thoroughly impressive. Again, I think we have antenna issues. I think if we can fix some antenna issues, we could get dope range from this. I think we could get dope Wi-Fi FPV, which would make the app itself better. And again, this is still SD card here. Um, and what I'm doing now is trying to connect to uh, the drone. The drone followed me, but the app lagged out. Um, I'm trying to connect to the drone here. As you can see me waving. I'm like, hello, wake up, connect. And as you can see, that's where it froze. It froze right where I said it lost me, and then it followed me. So the drone and the controller were still connected, but the app itself wasn't. We've, uh, we've established connection now through the app. As you can see, it's it says it's still recording up above, but it stops intermittently. Um, so that's also another inconsistency. You don't know what type of footage you're going to get if you're going to get all the footage. Um, but this, this through and through, I enjoyed doing this review despite the fact my hat cam failed me. Um, it also gave me a little bit of extra time to put together what I was going to say about the drone and after calculating everything to give you an accurate assessment about the drone and as you can see we are landing here and then we will do a recap from my hat cam just to draw the battery more so i do apologize about my camera going out i have no clue when it went out that was fun you get two chirps low voltage then it'll land then you get a solid single beep um let's go ahead and stop the screen recording that was really fun. This uh, drone held my interest.